Are you someone who suffers from severe asthma and is looking for an effective biological therapy? Look no further. In this video, we will compare two popular options, Zolaire and Nucala. Both Zolaire and Nucala are biological therapies that have been approved to treat severe asthma. They work by targeting specific proteins in the body that contribute to asthma symptoms. However, there are some key differences between the two treatments. Understanding Zolaire and Nucala Biological therapies have revolutionized the treatment of severe asthma by targeting the underlying causes of the disease. Both Zolaire and Nucala fall under this category and have shown promising results in improving asthma control and reducing exacerbations. Zolaire, also known as omelizumab, is a monoclonal antibody that specifically targets a protein called immunoglobulin E, IgE. IgE plays a crucial role in allergic reactions, and elevated levels of IgE are often found in individuals with allergic asthma. By binding to IgE, Zolaire prevents it from triggering an immune response, thereby reducing the severity and frequency of asthma symptoms. Nucala, on the other hand, targets a different protein called interleukin-5, Illinois-5. Illinois-5 is responsible for the production and activation of eosinophils, a type of white blood cell that plays a significant role in asthma-related inflammation. By inhibiting Illinois-5, Nucala reduces the number of eosinophils in the airways, leading to decreased inflammation and improved asthma control. How Zolaire works in treating severe asthma Zolaire has been widely studied and proven to be effective in the treatment of severe allergic asthma. When IgE binds to allergens, it triggers the release of inflammatory mediators that cause bronchoconstriction, airway inflammation, and increased mucus production. Zolaire blocks the binding of IgE to its receptors on mast cells and basophils, preventing the release of these inflammatory mediators. The administration of Zolaire involves subcutaneous injections every two to four weeks, depending on the individual's specific needs. The dosage is determined based on the patient's weight and serum IgE levels. It is important to note that Zolaire is not a rescue medication and should not be used to treat acute asthma attacks. Instead, it is intended for long-term management of severe allergic asthma. Studies have shown that Zolaire significantly reduces asthma exacerbations, improves lung function, and enhances overall asthma control. It has been particularly effective in patients with high levels of IgE and a history of frequent exacerbations despite the use of other asthma medications. However, it is important to discuss with your healthcare provider whether Zolaire is the right choice for you, as it may not be suitable for everyone. How Nucala Works in Treating Severe Asthma Nucala, or mepolizumab, is another biological therapy that has shown great promise in the treatment of severe eosinophilic asthma. Eosinophils are white blood cells that play a key role in allergic inflammation in the airways. In individuals with eosinophilic asthma, the number of eosinophils is abnormally high, leading to persistent airway inflammation and asthma symptoms. Nucala works by targeting IL-5, a cytokine that is crucial for the survival and activation of eosinophils. By binding to Illinois 5, Nucala prevents its interaction with eosinophils, reducing their numbers and suppressing asthma-related inflammation. This, in turn, leads to improved asthma control and a decrease in exacerbations. The administration of Nucala involves subcutaneous injections once every four weeks. Similar to Zolaire, the dosage is determined based on the patient's weight and specific asthma characteristics. Nucala is recommended for individuals aged 12 years and older who have severe eosinophilic asthma that is uncontrolled despite the use of high-dose inhaled corticosteroids and other asthma medications. Clinical trials have demonstrated the efficacy of Nucala in reducing asthma exacerbations, improving lung function, and enhancing asthma control in patients with severe eosinophilic asthma. It has been particularly beneficial for individuals with high eosinophil counts and a history of frequent exacerbations. However, as with any medication, it is important to discuss with your healthcare provider whether Nucala is the right choice for you. Comparing the effectiveness of Zolaire and Nucala Both Zolaire and Nucala have shown significant efficacy in the treatment of severe asthma, but they target different pathways involved in asthma pathogenesis. Zolaire primarily addresses allergic asthma by targeting IgE, while Nucala focuses on eosinophilic asthma by inhibiting IL-5. The effectiveness of these treatments may vary depending on the individual specific asthma phenotype and characteristics. For individuals with allergic asthma and high levels of IgE, Zolaire may be the more appropriate choice. On the other hand, individuals with eosinophilic asthma and elevated eosinophil counts may benefit more from Nucala. 
It is important to note that not all individuals will respond equally to these therapies, and the decision should be made in consultation with a healthcare professional. Factors such as previous treatment history, asthma severity, and other individual considerations should be taken into account when determining the most suitable option. Side Effects and Safety Considerations of Zolair Like any medication, Zolair is associated with potential side effects. The most common side effects include injection site reactions, such as redness, swelling, or pain at the injection site. These reactions are generally mild and resolve on their own. Other less common side effects include headache, dizziness, fatigue, and joint pain. There have been rare cases of anaphylaxis, a severe allergic reaction, associated with Zolaire administration. These reactions typically occur shortly after the injection and require immediate medical attention. It is important to inform your healthcare provider if you have a history of anaphylaxis or any other severe allergic reactions before starting Zolaire therapy. Zolaire is generally considered safe and well tolerated when used as directed. However, it is important to discuss with your healthcare provider any potential risks and benefits before starting treatment. Side effects and safety considerations of Nucala. Nucala is generally well tolerated, and side effects are typically mild. The most common side effects include headache, injection site reactions, back pain, and fatigue. These reactions are usually transient and resolve on their own. In rare cases, Nucala has been associated with hypersensitivity reactions, including anaphylaxis. It is important to inform your healthcare provider of any known allergies or previous hypersensitivity reactions before initiating Nucala therapy. Regular monitoring of eosinophil counts may also be necessary to ensure appropriate dosing and treatment response. As with any medication, it is important to discuss with your healthcare provider any potential risks and benefits before starting Nucala treatment. Choosing between Zolaire and Nucala for severe asthma treatment. Deciding between Zolaire and Nucala for the treatment of severe asthma can be challenging. It is essential to consider several factors, including the specific asthma phenotype, individual characteristics, treatment goals, and potential risks and benefits. For individuals with severe allergic asthma and high levels of IgE, Zolaire may be the preferred choice. It has demonstrated efficacy in reducing exacerbations and improving asthma control in this population. However, it is important to note that Zolaire is not suitable for individuals without elevated IgE levels or those with non-allergic asthma. On the other hand, Nucala may be the better option for individuals with severe eosinophilic asthma. It has shown effectiveness in reducing exacerbations and improving asthma control in individuals with elevated eosinophil counts. Nucala is generally well tolerated and has a favorable safety profile. Ultimately, the decision should be made in consultation with a healthcare professional who can assess the individual's specific asthma characteristics and recommend the most appropriate treatment option. Other biological therapies for severe asthma. While Zolaire and Nucala are two commonly prescribed biological therapies for severe asthma, it is important to note that there are other options available as well. These include medications such as Fisenra, Venralizumab, and Dupixent, Dupilumab, which target different pathways involved in asthma pathogenesis. Fisenra, similar to Nucala, targets IL-5 and has shown efficacy in reducing exacerbations and improving asthma control in individuals with severe eosinophilic asthma. Dupixent, on the other hand, targets IL-4 and IL-13, two cytokines involved in type 2 inflammation, and has been shown to be effective in individuals with moderate to severe asthma with an eosinophilic phenotype. Each of these biological therapies has its own unique advantages and limitations, and the choice should be based on individual characteristics and treatment goals. It is important to discuss with a healthcare professional to determine the most suitable option for managing severe asthma symptoms. Conclusion and Final Recommendations Zolaire and Nucala are two popular biological therapies that have shown efficacy in the treatment of severe asthma. Zolaire targets IgE and is effective in allergic asthma, while Nucala targets IL-5 and is beneficial for individuals with eosinophilic asthma. When considering treatment options, it is important to consult with a healthcare professional who can assess your specific asthma characteristics and recommend the most appropriate therapy. Factors such as previous treatment history, asthma severity, and individual considerations should be taken into account. It is also worth noting that there are other biological therapies available for the treatment of severe asthma, such as Fisenra and Dupixent, which target different pathways involved in asthma pathogenesis. These options should also be considered in the decision-making process. In conclusion, Zolaire and Nucala offer effective options for individuals with severe asthma, but the choice should be made in consultation with a healthcare provider.
By understanding the unique advantages and limitations of each treatment, you can make an informed decision about what is best for managing your severe asthma symptoms.